Well, any interest in just like selling all of them? Um, now that we're. How much you want for them? Bloggy flip. Thing you're looking for, sir? Uh, do you have any He Man or anything like that? Uh, no. No, we do not. Okay. How much is that guy? Uh, two dollars each. Oh, okay. For everything? Smaller ones or are two bucks. Uh, we'll do four for the bigger ones. Okay. And this guy's. Nobody wants the chimichanga mobile? <laughs> not yet. Here's a Jason, but uh, that one's uh, the fake one from the fifth movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it still counts, I guess. <laughs> yeah. got a Chucky over here. Oh, do you? Got a couple of him. Oh, look at that. And then we got a few zombies from Walking Dead. Sure. <laughs> Daryl. Daryl. There's a Daryl in here somewhere. Right there. Daryl. I always like this. I showed Vicky this one last night. Like, you know what this is, right? She goes, well, I wouldn't have if the tank wasn't in its mouth. But now I know. <laughs> Oh, small leather faces in here. Oh, I think I grabbed one leather face. Yeah, little leather face. Pennywise, leather face. Oh, there's a little. Oh, there's, there's a baby Rick. Rick, <laughs> and then baby Xenomorph. Oh, it's a alien. Uh, alien. Uh -huh. Yeah. You got him in there somewhere too, right? Who? Got the alien. You got any more horror ones, Bub? That you might want. There's um, a scream. That American looks like down Horror there. Show. Oh, Who's this? Wow. Who's this guy? Tar man, I think. That's Spock. Oh. <laughs> didn't look like, I, I wouldn't recognize the weapon. Oh, here you go. There's Ash. from uh, Evil Dead. Oh, and oh cool, yeah. Darkness. And then Ash from Alien. Yeah, sure. You know, he's a robot. <laughs> he's a gosh darn robot. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's one from a, Scream right there, there too. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, Scream. All, all right, right, so you know your, your market now. <laughs> he's asking about horror. He's almost grabbed all of them. I'm right. I don't see any more. We do have oh, some horror, but it's a big... Oh, that's um, actually, that's a turret from Portal. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, what we got? What do you think? Yeah. Um, any other horror ones that you might like? Yeah, big 15. Uh, Krampus, if you count him. Krampus, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, which, is that him right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Krampus. Yeah, that's cool. Um, come on. There's also a, a child in his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> or anything else horror, like games or um, movies or anything? Oh, we got horror anything? video games. Oh, do you? Um, Golden Freddy, Foxy, Little Foxy, Little Marionette. There's another one. Um, oh, another Foxy. Another Foxy over there. There's also some, uh, like, uh, horror, B horror movies over there that I got from the Days of the Dead convention. They should be kind of mixed in there somewhere. Oh, uh, just over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hunter. I believe that's from the new one. Oh, that's cool, though. That's the new Mike Myers, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> sure I didn't miss anything here. On that one. Yep, that's one. Got some oh, sir. Sleepy I got ball. a few um, more in here. Okay. Spring trap, right here. He's from Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Tyrant from Resident Evil. Yeah, that's cool. Hunter from Resident Evil. Uh, some kind of nightmare wolf guy from Five Nights at yeah. Freddy's from the books. And then. I'll do the Resident Evil ones. All right. I'm trying to think if I went to Five Nights at Freddy's, might. My son loves loves him and he hates him. Like he's scared of him, but he still watches them. It's oh. a couple more. Oh, okay, cool. Horror movies, if yeah, you want. sure. <laughs> still no more horror. That's it. So you met these people right here, like at the oh, yeah. convention or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. A couple more autographed by like awesome. the lead actor and directors. He said he has a kid that likes Five Nights at Freddy's, but he has cool. a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> I see, okay. Like, he has the toys, but, like, he hides them under the kitchen table at night so they don't scare him when he's yeah. sleeping. It's, it's really weird. But I think I will grab the Five Nights at Freddy's ones that you have here, too, and then we'll okay. count it up and see what we got. So far, that's about 20 bucks. Okay, and then I got all this, too. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five yeah, sure. Right. He'll either love him or he won't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know where Shadow Freddy is? Oh, yeah. uh, Golden Freddy. Michael Myers, yeah. Yeah, and there's a Saul. So what are we at now? Um, going with Indy. I'll do 20 for all the pops. Okay. Five bucks. Um, Dad, how much were the movies? Uh, they're a dollar a piece. Okay. Unless it's like the set. Right. Oh, that's a that's a a character from Dragon Ball. 25 for everything. Yeah. Okay. This is Dragon Ball. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one is also Dragon Ball. Well, any interest in just like selling all of them? Um, now that we're, how much you want for him? What if we did like 150 for everything? We were at 25 so far. Oh well. 170. 170. Yeah, sure. There you go. You hear that? Mm -hmm. 170. Yeah. So you want to count how many you got? That way you and him can split it up. <laughs> or yours, or yours this half? Uh, yeah. Okay. Probably a good 60 40 split. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I appreciate that. No got to get rid of it. got to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I kept my trash bag. Make sure you guys keep the ball. <laughs> got his name. Now you guys been Golden Dark guy from... Yeah. Oh, that's Alduin. All the pops are gone. From Skyrim. Uh, You've been collecting for a while, I guess? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Uh, five to six years. Really? Yeah. Somewhere around there. Okay, let me give you this real quick. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, and 70. Awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, no I'll tell you what, one can just give up my tub to take. That's what I was going to say. I'll just oh. give up that tub tomorrow. I appreciate it, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make two trips, okay? All right. Like, like, shove that in there if you want to. Yeah, I'll come right back for the other one. I'll grab it. Okay. I'm down there in that red Jeep. Awesome. 
thank you so much buddy i thank appreciate you, you working with me like that yeah take care all right everyone so we made it back to the garage it was a really great weekend of garage sales and i will share all of them with you over the next coming days but i kind of just thought that this one particular sale kind of deserved its own little video while i was there my mindset kind of went through a few significant changes and i thought it kind of made an interesting little case study regarding adaptation because I've said it before, this channel is not an education channel. It's it's just me doing what I love to do and I like to share it on YouTube. However, I have mentioned before that I firmly believe that the ability to adapt to any given situation is uh, crucial to survival in this business, if you will. So as far as Funko Pops go, I think they're really cool. There's been times in the past that I've wanted to collect them, but I just kind of talked myself out of it because where does it end? There's just thousands of them and they just keep coming and it's never gonna stop. As far as reselling them goes, um, I have sold the one off here and there, but it seems like when I do see them, they're always more common ones that are marked at full retail. So I, I'm just not even drawn to them. So I saw an ad for, I, I think it was a moving sale probably. They use words like everything must go, which is something I do like to see. But one of the selling points was tons and tons of pops. So that honestly didn't interest me too much. I figured there would just be tons of people there and it wouldn't be worth my time. So I kind of made that my last stop of the day. And when I got there, I was kind of su surprised to see not that many people there. And then when I finally made my way up to that huge table of pops, I noticed they were all out of their boxes, which I found that kind of interesting. I saw the enormous size of the collection. And then I started spotting some of like the cool little horror ones. So then all of a sudden my collector brain started kicking in. He said they were basically like two bucks a piece. The big ones are four bucks a piece. And he instantly said that he'd make me a deal if I bought a bunch of them. So I started grabbing all the horror ones. I kind of thought to myself, well, that could make a neat little collection. You know, maybe I could have this instant little horror collection for like 20 bucks or something. Why not? And it quickly seemed like the more I found, the more the whole family kind of joined in looking for stuff for me. The pile started getting pretty big and the price just kept getting cheaper, it felt like. So I kind of quickly sensed that they really just wanted these things gone. I remembered back to that RVA flips video where Justin basically said if he can get loose pops for like under a dollar, he does because they're either going to be like four to eight dollar commons or there might be some like vaulted uh, retired home runs in there. So when everything kind of clicked that they were obviously trying to get rid of all of them, the price was getting dangerously close to a dollar a piece, I think, combined with the enormous size of the collection and it did seem like someone probably had some years on them. My reseller brain finally popped on and I thought that it was probably wise just to try to buy them all. Why not? The colder months are getting close and bulk buys like that just kind of makes sense at this point. So I did a quick guess that there was probably somewhere between 150 and 200 sitting there. Uh, I offered 150 bucks. They came back at 170. I decided to take the gamble. They were happy to get rid of them and it was and it was a win-win. So I'm nowhere near having gone through everything yet, but I'm quickly finding that uh, there is a lot of potential value here. I'm finding quite a few of uh, pretty collectible or vaulted or retired pops. And I think this deal is gonna work out pretty well. It's gonna take a long time. Basically everyone that I don't recognize, I have to Google lens it and then do an eBay sold search kind of check the price on the on the boxed units and then do a sold search for the word loose, do a sold search for the words no box and do a sold search for the acronym OOB, which in Funko terms means out of box. And that kind of gives me an idea of the value of each one. So it's not as quick as having boxes and definitely not as valuable. However, if they were all boxed, this deal would have looked a lot different because it would have cost a lot more and storage would have been a lot more difficult. There turned out to be right around 239 pops. I paid 170 bucks. So we're looking at about 71, 72 cents by cost per unit. Here's a bunch of the stuff I haven't gone through yet. This, this tub is still full. I poured out this bin. There are some on the floor. Uh, I got a Google lens, a bunch of these. Now don't get it twisted. There's gonna be lots that aren't worth a lot of money. Uh, they'll go in lots or whatever. But so far I have found quite a few that I either enjoy or that seem to have some pretty significant comps. So I'll try to show you a few of them and I'll, I'll try to flash some comps on the screen so you can kind of get an idea. But I definitely liked all the horror ones. Those were those were pretty neat in my opinion. I know that this guy right here, this uh, ghost face from Scream, he seems to sell pretty well, even loose. I think Billy from Saul also does. These were all like minis and stuff. And uh, some of these actually do pretty well too. Like Scar, I think it's pretty close to like 30 bucks or something. The mini ghost face and the mini Pennywise are, are in the $20 range, I think. The little Billy has some value. So far, I think this one is the one that I've come across that has the most potential value. This is a uh, muscle man from regular show, another vaulted pop. It has used comps in the, I think 50 to $90 range. Bernie Sanders seems to do okay. We have chunk from Goonies. 
seems to be pretty sought after, even even loose. John Bender from, from The Breakfast Club seems to do pretty well. We have the dad holding the leg lamp from A Christmas Story. I think he has some pretty good comps. All these Breaking Bad characters seem to do pretty well. There's Saul Goodman. There's Hank. Jesse Pinkman in the hazmat suit. There's Walter White in the tidy whities. Um, Zoidberg, I think that's from Futurama. Uh, has some pretty good loose comps on its own. Um, all these Bob's Burgers characters do too. I think Sarah's going to claim some of these because Bob's Burgers is one of her favorite shows, especially Louise. Small lots of these Bob's Burger characters can sell for like $100. Teddy does pretty well on his own. All these could be between like 15 and 30 bucks a piece, even loose. So that's, that's pretty crazy. And then there's still probably 200 more. So there's still a lot of research to do. I kind of have to decide what my cutoff's going to be, like listing one individual pop. Anything that seems to sell for less than $10, we'll, we'll just go in small lots, I'm guessing. But at the end of the day, I mean, if we could end up with like a $10 average selling cost, like with, with all the high dollar ones mixed with some of the lower dollar ones and then mixed with some of the lots, I mean, that's like $2,500 over time almost. Not going to be a quick deal. Those kind of trickle-in deals are essential for just like keeping a business afloat, in my opinion. And then down here, we also have a few more things. These are just some cool little B-horror movies that he got at conventions. A couple of them are autographed. This one's called I Am No One. My Uncle John is a Zombie. That one is autographed by somebody. And this Blu-ray called Unlisted Owner. Also autographed. Not really sure what these are worth at this time. You never know, though. But I just think they're kind of cool to buy. And then this was really neat. It's a, it's a Michael Myers action figure. Still uh, sealed, sealed in the package. That was actually a steal at $5 anyway. I think comps are somewhere in the $35 to $50 range. But uh, we'll see if I'm able to sell that. That's just that's just kind of neat, in my opinion. Daddy, I like your Freddy's. Elliot, Five Nights at Freddy's. Are you scared of them? No. No. But you are sometimes, right? Yes, but look, I'm not afraid to touch it. Okay. I know it's fake. Good job. I know it's fake in the dark. Yeah. Okay, love you. Love you. Okay, I love you. So I definitely think the deal was a win-win deal. They were able to get rid of everything quickly. I'm going to have most of them for probably quite a while. But over time, weeks and months and whatever, it's going to add up. And that's what I'm in it for. So as always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.